Hello guys, and this is Dix here, and today I'm going to show you how to put a drop shadow in your text. So first, I'll make a new file. I'm gonna name mine drop shadow. You can name it whatever floats your boat. And you can you can make any resolution here, but I will I recommend 920 by 180 pixels. And the resolution I just make it uh, 300 and the background contents you can just choose a color or I just recommend it to be transparent. Now make uh, click the shape tool the rectangle shape tool and now you can choose so click the box here next to the fill and you can just pick a color from the color picker or you can use your swatches so I will just use my swatches so from the upper left, click it and drag it down to the down right or the bottom right corner. And you can see that is your background now. So now let's put our text. So click the text tool and I'll, I choose my font to be Roboto. You can choose whatever font you want, but for me, I recommend Roboto because it is much more simple, simpler and modern. So, I choose my text color to be white. And you can just choose your any color, but except the color of your shadow. So, I'm just going to... Uh, make a text here Make sure it's cavil so just to get much more uh, To get a much more better result Like so and there you go Here's your text. This is just a sample text. So now Let's make another layer Now we are going to make a guide, uh, a guide to make our drop shadow. So click the shape tool. Now click the line tool from the shape tool. Now fill it with, click the color black. Make sure it's a line tool, okay? Now make it 3PT. So just make a line here like this, like this line. And let's go. So uh, click show transformation tools and you can see a little uh, thing here in my cursor and you can just rotate whatever you want. Don't rotate it like this, rotate like this for much more better results. I'll just make mine 45 degrees. There you go. Play the transformation. You can make it. Yeah, just 45 degrees. And. Uh, yeah. Put it. Uh, put the guide on the bottom left of your first letter. And. Yeah, just do that. Like so. And now let's just duplicate our layer here. Let's make the other one. The other guide. So just align it like so. You can see that alignment there. Let me just zoom in so you can see. And you just duplicate the layer. 
again and again. Oops. Make sure you have the uh, move tool here. And you just, just keep copying it. And just duplicate the layer until you reach the last part or the last text of your text. There you go. Now put it on the top right of your at the end of your letter. There you go. Now we are going to make oops. Now let's zoom out now. A really that's a really uh let me just align it a little bit more. There you go. Now, let's make the actual shadow. Let's make a new layer. Now click the pen tool and fill it with uh, black and start it from the bottom left of your uh, guide and now point it. Make sure it's the shape. You choose shape, not path or pixels. And now put it on the bottom left of your text or the first letter. And just you can see here it's making the effect. Let me just zoom in here. Okay. And just do that. You can see here. Don't worry, guys. Oh, I uh, just uh, make the sh shape under the text so it's not gonna block the text. So you can see here. Just follow my steps here. You can just follow my thing here. And now. For the end part, just click it, just click the end of your uh, guide, like so. And there you have it. But wait, but wait, but actually wait, why do we still have the guide? No problem guys, you can just not make it visible and Yes, you so you're not happy with the shadow, right? It's okay. Uh, you can see the opac opacity here. You can just make it 50 or just 30 or maybe 10. Whatever floats your boat. But if you select one that's like really light, but here you go. Prefer. 50. And now thanks guys for watching and ma please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and remember keep digging it.